Hey everybody, welcome to this video in the Nagios XI graphing and reporting series. Today we're going to talk about the two extra reports and the one extra feature available in the Enterprise Edition of Nagios XI. That is namely SLA reporting, capacity planning, and the ability to schedule reports for automatic delivery in the future. Stick with us, we're going to jump right into the interface. All right, here we are in the interface. We are on the reports page and we're going to click on the SLA report. This enterprise feature report, we can run on any host. We could run it on a host group. We could run it on a service group. We can change our SLA targets. Say we want to go with five nines. And we've also got an advanced tab. So we're going to start out here. We are going to grab exchange.nagios.org. What is great about the SLA reporting is whether you're hosting a site like uh, Exchange or a vendor is hosting it for you, you can monitor. If you're being held to an SLA, you can show how well you're doing. If you're holding someone else to an SLA, you can see how well they're doing. So if we just run it like this with none of the advanced checked, you know, we see that some things didn't pass on that. But if we hide scheduled downtime, that's real. In SLA, agree SLA agreements, downtime doesn't count against you. We can also hide warning states. If a thing like a disk drive was in warning because it was mostly full, but it was still working, well, that doesn't really count. And also, we can hide unknown unreachable states, which means that, well, if we can't get to it, we can't really say whether it was up or down or not. And now when we run the report, everything has passed. So, you can run this on any item that you're monitoring and you can check advanced options and that is SLA reporting. Okay, let's take a look at capacity planning. So just like all the other reports, we've got this similar set of options up here. The one thing that changes is the extrapolation method. You have four options here and you can investigate those and use them as you see fit. We're going to choose this host and we're going to choose CPU usage and we'll run this report. So what you see here is the blue is the observed usage. The gray is the predicted usage and we can toggle those back both on and off. And this is the fit line. This predicts where it's a, it shows you the trend. If it's going up, if it's going down, this one seems to be staying fairly well the same. We can also overlay our warning threshold and we'll see that this device, the CPU on this host, is tending on occasion to exceed the warning threshold. And we can also overlay the critical threshold and we'll see this one hasn't exceeded critical and isn't likely to exceed critical. So you can run this on any host, any service. So all of your capacity planning you can handle with this report here in the Enterprise Edition of Nagios XI. Okay, to wrap up in this video, we are going to go through scheduling a report to run. So say you've got an SLA report, and it's great that you can run it in the interface, but you need to deliver this report either weekly or monthly or daily or whatever your criteria is. In the Enterprise Edition with Nagios XI, we can go up to the uh, clock icon. It says schedule this report. You can uh, SLA report for exchange.nagios.org. And you can change the frequency, daily, weekly, monthly. You can change the time. It can be attached as a PDF or a JPEG. You can add recipients. You can, uh, you can also change the subject of the email that's going to be sent. And you can say, bada bing. Just like that, you have scheduled a report. So now you have a scheduled report up in My Scheduled Reports. When you click there, you're going to see that you can go right to the report. You could edit the report. You could delete the report. You could view it. Or you could send it right now. That covers scheduled reports and that covers the enterprise features in reporting for Nagios XI. Thanks for watching. More videos coming up.